This video is brought to you by WP Forms. In this video, I'll walk you through how to add sample data to your WooCommerce store. This is perfect if you're just setting up your store and you want to see the look and feel, how your store is going to look and feel without adding your own products. This will work for you. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any tutorials like we have, like how to add sample products to your WooCommerce store. Let's dive in. First thing you want to do is head over to your WordPress dashboard. Let's head over to products, all products. And because you don't have any, we want to click start import. From here, it'll ask you for a CSV or a TXT file. If you happen to have a CSV file of your own, then you can use that. But right down here, we want to show advanced options. And from here, we're going to put in a location where sample data is already on your server, on your website. WooCommerce comes automatically with sample data. You simply have to tell it where to go. So we're going to go on a new line and I'm going to paste this in here. And don't worry, we have this in the description below. You can also check out the written version of this tutorial to see this. What this is saying is go to the WP content folder on my server, go to plugins, go to WooCommerce, go to sample data and grab this sample products.csv. That's what we want. Everything else is okay. We don't need to do anything here. We just want to click continue. Now, if you wanted to, you could also come up here and download it. If you wanted to look at it first, you'd simply have to add your website address in the beginning and then and add that same bit of URL structure at the end. And when you hit enter, it will download it locally. But for most people, you don't really need to see it before you import it but that's just another way you can do that. Once you click import or start importing, then they want to column map everything, meaning what is it in the CSV? What column is that? And what does it tie to with your store? Basically, you just want to leave all of this the same. It's set up perfectly for your store. So just scroll all the way down and click run the importer. And I was going to go out and import, I think about 25 products as well as the product images that will import. Great, now it says that it's done, the file that was uploaded, and then we can see that. Now we can click view products and it will take us to all the products that we can see. And it also has the images, the title, the price, and everything looks good. So now you can test things out. Once you have that, you can also start testing the orders. So maybe you're not ready to go live. You just wanna test and see the look and feel, how will the customer that comes to your store, how will they see your site? You can go to WooCommerce and go to settings. And from here, we're looking for the payments tab. And what we want to do is we want to turn on cash on delivery and have that the only one available. And then that way you can create orders so you can see what it all looks like. So then you can go through and create as many orders as you want. And then here, here you can also take a look and see what your store is going to look like. Once you go through the whole process and test everything out, then you'll want to go ahead and remove these items so that a you want to remove the orders item so it doesn't skew your order value. And then you would also want to remove products so somebody doesn't accidentally order that from you. To remove orders, you can simply go to WooCommerce orders and highlight all the orders. Go to bulk actions, move to trash. We'll apply this. What I like to do also do is just go to my trash and do highlight everything again, do bulk action, and let's go ahead and delete that permanently. We can do the same thing with products. We want to remove all the products. So we'll go to products, all products, and we'll do the same thing. We're going to click on the check marks here. We'll do bulk action. We'll move to trash and apply. And now we'll go into trash and we want to do the same thing. We'll highlight everything, bulk action, and we're going to go ahead and delete permanently. And then that will remove all your products, all your orders. What I would recommend is go ahead and do one more thing. Go to media library and remove all of the images that were associated with the products. So for these, most of this page is that. So we're going to highlight all of these, delete permanently. This is the only one where it will automatically delete them all. And we have a couple more here. We'll do the same thing. Perfect. Now your store is ready for you to add your own products. And if you're just wanting to sell one or two items or one or two services, one of the best things that you could do is install something like WP Forms. With WP Forms, you can create a simple order form with certain products or certain services that you offer, and you can install a payment service to accept payments with that. To get started, just head over to WPForms.com 
and do forward slash WP beginner and you'll get the best discount on WP forms. And thanks for watching.